Um, well, problem 19 was talking about um, wanting to save money to buy a new laptop. And so 20 kind of goes along with this one. It says, you don't want to wait 50 years to buy your new laptop. So you sign up for a credit card that charges 19% APR compounded monthly. The first thing that I want to point out here is that these are the most important words when it comes to identifying which formula to use. And the formula that we're going to use is this formula right there. And we use that formula when it says compounded annually, compounded semi-annually, compounded monthly, compounded quarterly, or compounded daily. So let's list what we know about this problem now. Well, what we know about this problem is that we're going to charge $1,100. That's going to be our P. That's like A sub O in some of the other problems. That's going to be our original amount. Our rate in this problem is 19%. And once again, reminder, we need to move the decimal one, two spaces to the left. So this is going to be 0.19. It's compounded monthly. That's our N value. And just think about how many months in a year, which is 12. And then lastly, on part B, it says, if we make no payments on our debt, for three years, then how much will we owe the credit card company? So we know the right formula. Now we have everything that we need to fill this in. And that's what we're going to do. So our final amount is going to come from 1100 times 1 plus 0.19. Put your decimal value in there, not the percentage. 0.19 divided by 12 to the 12 times 3. And oftentimes what I say on the quizzes or the test is, it says, show your work. That equation in green is your work. And then here comes the answer, which is going to be determined by typing that in the, the calculator. 1100 times 1 plus 0.19 divided by 12, close the parentheses, to the, remember, if you have an out-of-date calculator, you need to put parentheses in right now, parentheses, but for the rest of us, we're going to put in 12 times 3. We don't need parentheses if we have a regular calculator and enter. That gives us our number here. And then what we want to finish with is we want to make sure that we round to the nearest cent. So we're going to look at this look at 7 to determine what to do to the 2. So this is going to be 1936 and 43 cents. Because 7 is 5 or higher, so we need to round that 2 up.